Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Arizona Cardinals. With that, let's get out to the desert. Danny by in Glendale. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game in these types of situations? You're looking for someone to inspire you, and it doesn't have to be one of your best players either. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they've come in on a nice run of recent form. Four wins out of five. gives him and then he can strike at times had a touchdown pass yes he had an interception last week but he found a way for his team to win towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play in the football. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and ten at the 45-yard line. Come on now. Let's go. On first and ten, it's Clement. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. That play got bottled up. That's a screen! On second down, Clement. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two in that third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got really excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. So first 
first and second down with the wrong direction. They're trying to do better here on third and 13. From the gun, it's Wins. This is caught by Jackson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle is made here at the Cardinals' 30. Well, certainly worth noting, he's now one catch away from 600. He's at 599 in his career. So first and 10 now from the 30. On play action, it's Wentz. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Peter Baker with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many runs in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception throw. And that last one, that hurts. getting ready to go as they take the field. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at the 20. You got nothing. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Jalen Mills in on the stop. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now a draw play with Drake. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. On first down, Drake. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. The last run got six, now second and four. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Give him 32 on the play. That's evidence of why you spend a high draft pick on a receiver, isn't it, Charles? It certainly is. His ability to make plays like that, and we see flashes of it from him so far in his rookie season. But also, it opens things up for the rest of the offense because they have to bring more attention to him as well. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. Quick throw into the hands of Hopkins out wide. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Push him back. Push him back. On second and a couple. Murray, he finds Hopkins complete. And they'll bring him down. 13 yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now, Murray again. It's complete to Drake. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make this a second down. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes it second and nine. And they're able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. In your face. Murray to throw on third and one. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. And he is a Bella. His third touchdown now. Here in this opening quarter. The losing streak had taken out a life of its own, and I think it infiltrates a team when you're on that much of a slide. But this group has managed to focus, come out early, and put a touchdown on the board. They look, they look like they mean business in this one. They do now the key, holding on to that attitude, because, man, that streak has been a struggle for them. 
to play good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 7 nothing. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. This one fielded at the 5. Take it up past the 25 to the 26 get ready, yard line. Get ready, get ready. The Eagles hey. offense set to begin their next drive. Right and Charles, if the season ended today, <laughs> it's not going to. We still have this yeah. early in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs because you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. And that guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also is a bunch of margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak can have them out of the playoffs. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. So there, there's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. And this shot downfield on second down is brought in. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Alshon Jeffrey, his fifth touchdown now on the year. As his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. Let's go, this will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would. Be. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pick on the 38. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty you know, excited about the big plays. Let's face it, that's what we absolutely look for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. It's a big game. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. On first and 10, here's Murray. And he hits Drake. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. The loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. Now Murray throwing on second down. Open man is Kirk, complete. Throwing is Murray on third down. Sliding out of the... Oh, now Murray has it stripped. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to take over at the 44-yard line. The the when I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and, in this case, lose the football? So Should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong. Is it because you can analyze it? But I think ultimately you gotta look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Now to the fumble recovery, it's Lance. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. There was a safety with Sean Jones that time who was able to break up the play. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass. Toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. And since this is such a good unit at covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Wins to first to Clement. And he is 
swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up the third and ten. Receiver complete. And all the way down to the 22 yard line. A big play there for Philly. 44 yards. That's just flat out a beautiful throw right there. It was a rope. That's maybe the speed you would see on a slant, but he threw that downfield with that kind of pace. Now, if he throws that one with any type of arc, puts a little air under it, that play doesn't happen. He had to fire it in there, and he did exactly that. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. A run, it's coming. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. That's caught by Jackson. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That reception, his 600th NFL catch. Congratulations. Quite the accomplishment. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Clement. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And they should be the final play before the quarter ends. Seven seven, our score after one. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Now wins. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first half touchdown passes. And the Eagles have taken the lead. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. <laughs> Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So that winds up a seven play drive all told. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return Let's this go, one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. That 7-0 lead of theirs there is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. On second down, it's Drake. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Let's go. Murray with a third and one. Going deep for Hopkins. And unable to connect, incomplete. I'll give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. It's time for our player spotlight right now as we get a look at Carson Wentz. 
He's had one of those games that any quarterback loves, not only being able to complete some passes, but some deep passes. And it's pretty to watch. I mean, it's an absolute joy to see, but let's face it, we got to give a little bit of credit where it's deserved, right? Well, the protection's been great. That's where you're going. The protection's been phenomenal, but how about how it's been spotlighted, right? Our producer, Christian McCray, our director, Kyle Burke, the rest of the crew, what they put together with these images and pictures, if you're an offensive lineman, that's what you're taking with you to cut in time. <laughs> They're going to have a lot to take to contract time if this continues. Go. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage just come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40 and down to the 29-yard line. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Wentz on target there to Jeffrey. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Wentz now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. They'll run here with Clement. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The safety Rashad Jones brings him down. Looking to throw on second down. Wentz, it's caught by Jackson. And the stop will come inside the five and the four. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple of eight. Wentz. And it's caught. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. Go. Go. Working from the gun. Runs. This is caught. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Wentz to throw again. Rolling to his right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. So call that no gain on the sneak, and now they're still a yard short here on fourth. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more than six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. So the D-line got the push there against the O-line to stop that quarterback sneak. A really high percentage call on offense. I think it's the right call. But as you noted, if they didn't get the push, you can't get him. There was no, no place for him to go. That's why the whole play got stuffed. And yeah, the beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. And he'll be upended after a gain of five. Up to the 25-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On the toss play, this is Troy. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. You got it! You got it! Whenever I go to a team's practice facility and watch them work, I love to watch the defensive guys and what they call pursuit drills. The ball goes either towards them or away from them. How fast will they respond? On this play, the defensive men responded better than anyone and made a really nice play. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. 
They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I'd be less phase is not just West Coast offense either. He's taking the ball back field as well. Let's go, let's go. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll be second down. On second down, Clement. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Second until his prime time for a little bit of a game. He doesn't open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down. Keep the sticks moving. Wentz connecting with his tight end, Goddard. The completion good for three and second down. That's what I'm talking about. I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything is right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. It's an Eagles first down on a game of 11. And now that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much during this. He keeps it in the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he can have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. On second down now. Clement, and he'll get it across midfield and down to the Cardinal territory. It'll be a five-yard pick up there, and it will take us to the two-minute rolling. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join Who Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by the run and have stats and scores from games in progress. That's one of scores from earlier today. The so, coach. Now we get slapped happy. just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. On now to kick it. And look at this, it's a fake. But he will not make the first down marker. That'll be a turnover on downs. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here, they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just a call. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Murray, he's used to moving fast in Oklahoma. He'll get his guys up to the line. After the sack on first down, Murray, they will try and run it. 23 yards on the top and run. Going through his progressions, not there, not there. After about the third run, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And a catch made by Hopkins. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A lot of attention paid this week in practice to red zone offense. The coach was optimistic about how it went. We'll see. To throw, it's Murray. He's going to take a touchdown. Arizona. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Now it's Hopkins to have the extra point. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29 yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offense. 
offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And we're under a minute to go here. It's been an even first half all tied up. Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just bring them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for the offense. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. And he will find his man on the outside. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. And with that completion, he's now more than 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And you, know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back up the plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's going to wear on him a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. There's a four receiver look now. Three of those guys out to the right side on second and eight. Now, once again. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points from the right hash. And this one just a triple. The kick by Elliott is good. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. So let's see what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital, where it was the visiting Niners who are able to come away with the road victory. Jimmy Garoppolo, sharp in the victory, as his guys get back within a game of 500. From there, we head up to MetLife Stadium to check on the Jets. And they were winners in their ball game over the visiting Buffalo Bills. Sam Darnold, four touchdown passes in the victory. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were losers in that one to the visiting New York Giants. Daniel Jones leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. In our game, it's been Carson Wentz with a strong first half. He's thrown for nearly 300 yards already as we get you back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. Let's this go, will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they want to be positive with it. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if Let's they go. can pick it up. Big right here. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. Oh, heavy rush and down he goes. Derek Barnett able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. You ready? You ready? Throwing on third and long. Murray, they'll set up the screen to Drake. And he's got the first down. Yardage before being taken down to midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play call is 
sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Murray now, 12 of 15, throwing the ball. 80% so far, and it's first and 10. From the gun, it's Dre. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. The Pro Bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. Quick throw into the hands of Hopkins out wide. And he's corralled, but now the third getting it inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. You don't want none, baby. You don't want none. Hey, hey, you don't want to see me. You A handoff out of the pistol. It's Drake. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made that time by Brandon Bland. Second and 10. At the 33 yard line. Right back to Drake. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Big, big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attack if they decide to go that way.
one's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware of how they come On first down, it's Drake. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep beating the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially when we get deeper in the game. That's going to be caught by Kirk. Complete to Christian Kirk. It's a game of four. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. He can't hang. He's not going to get me. From the gun on third down, Murray. Yeah. Into the five point complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a cardinal first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Seven yards on the first down screen play. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Drake. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. From the gun, Murray. He's got it. It's Williams. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And now do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now. But you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over the sidelines while this one continues downfield. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They'll try to get a little short of the fullback. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down about the two-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Murray now, third and goal. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on I was. I was. It sounds like you're thinking that three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you're thinking a 14-play drive, you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can put dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. And yeah, nice work on the return as they'll start to go just past the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin the next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going in this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now this throw caught left side. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Play action. Now wins. And he's got his man on the out route. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. We played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. Wentz leaves with Clement on the draw. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run. Sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid game. From the 40 down on second down. Wentz. This is a real nice 
nice job defensively getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. So here are the Cardinals to take over. They've dropped four straight games coming into this one, remember, but they have the lead here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll start the drive with Dre. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Second down, here's Murray. It's complete to Williams. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and seven. Running from the shotgun with Dre. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of this team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They're going to run the draw here with Clement. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come right up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you come up and thinking about it. And D line wearing down the fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Wentz's throw taken in by Sanders. No yardage to speak up whatsoever. Leads to a third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes. They were able to receive it. Get down. On third and long, it's Wentz. And Jeffrey's got it. And Inside the 15 before they drop it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 13-yard line. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw Did 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. Now wins. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. The completion good for three and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now Wentz. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. That'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There was a in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. You need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him. Got him in. Up and it hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Three touchdown passes now for Carson Wentz. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown.
Elliott good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, realize it has a great something else. And maybe you try and find one of their special players from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something new and get things going in the excitement area. Five yards is the tally on first down. That runs up second and five. Okay, stay on the ground. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and four. To throw is more. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Clock running out of four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Now the pass, and it's into the arms of Hopkins. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 45. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and ten at the 34. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Watch left, watch left. Tight into the left. Back to the air on second down. It's Murray. Now they go straight and it's complete. The dump off gets a nine, so now they're in much better shape for third down. Here we go, third and one. The gut check tag on both sides. Murray to throw on third and one. Quickly here, and that's complete. And he has another first down, but he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. They're always so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll run on first down, Edmonds. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, it's Drake. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And it hits Drake. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. To throw his mother. But if you're going to throw the ball on first down, and now the loss of football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. He's got a convoy. He's at the 30, 10, and this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. Yes. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room where they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. 
That's the score. Two goals, three So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line. And now working their way back onto the field, the Eagles defense. And they have the fumble return for a touchdown, and boom, they're right back up there again. And you hear so many people talk about nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jannard Avery in there to take him down, and the clock will roll to try and get out to the center. Murray, that hits his target. This is Luke Stocker. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Hey, here we go. On first and 10, here's Murray. This one caught by Isabella. Now the Cards going to call another timeout. Their second as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Murray with a third and one. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They're going for it. It's Murray. He's going to let it fly. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And it's second down. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Here's Wentz to throw. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Charles, in this one, I think the storyline really in the fourth quarter coming into it neck and neck, but they were able to separate, put their foot on the gas, and get the win. Since you mentioned neck and neck, I must have a little bit of a horse racing thing. It was that close, and then really went into the gallop and finished it strong. One more horse racing thing. Oh. Yes, I am glad you posted it there. I appreciate that. So for Philadelphia, their playoff chances take an uptick as they move to 7-4. And, and they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Washington Redskins. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, their luck may have run out as they fall to 